Sam with Retro Tech, uh, here to show you a quick demonstration of our new flow box. So this tool is kind of like the Swiss Army knife of airflow measurement tools. Uh, it's actually an exhaust fan flow meter and a pressure pan combo all in one tool. So if you notice, it uses the exact same range plugs that our blower door uses. Uh, the same part, they just pop right in and out. And so you can adjust your hole size that way as you measure a bath fan or a return or whole house ventilation. And so when you use this product with the DM32, if you're going to use it as an exhaust fan flow meter, if you come up here and look at the gauge, uh, we'll do a close up here. Uh, the setting that you want to go to, you'll just change your device and cycle through until you get to the whole flow function. And then you'll clear it out. And then on the model that you'll get, there'll be a sticker with a chart on it to tell you what hole area that you'll need to enter. So if we're gonna do one hole, it's gonna tell us to do 18 inches. And then we'll hit set. And you'll wanna make sure that you have it on pressure and flow in CFM. And you wanna be connected to the blue port and the yellow port and have it teed off just like this because you wanna be able to see pressure and flow. You just wanna make sure that you don't go outside of the uh, two to eight Pascal window as you're getting your flow measurement. That way it can help you determine what hole size you need to adjust to on the flow box. Another nice design feature about this box that uh, other exhaust fan flow meters don't have, it actually collects its pressure readings in all four corners on these taps. That way it doesn't matter which way you put it onto the fan, it's gonna read that pressure the exact same way each time. So we'll go ahead and measure this bath fan in this bathroom here. We'll go ahead and turn it on. Uh, this is just a cheap, uh, low cost bath fan. So we'll probably only need one hole out. I've got my 18 inches entered into the DM32. So we'll put it up there like so. So I'm reading a negative five and a half Pascal. So that's good. I'm within that window that I want to be. And it looks like I'm getting, let's let it readjust here. About 48 CFM, 47 to 48 CFM out of this fan. So typically I like to get at least 50 if I can, but if this fan's only rated for 50 CFM, then that's probably the best I'm gonna do. But uh, that's how we take uh, an exhaust fan measurement with a flood box. So for the sake of accuracy, we'll compare the flow box to the most accurate flow hood on the market. This is the ASIN Flow Finder MK2. Uh, so this will actually measure exhaust and supply. Uh, and it's the only active flow hood on the market, which means it uses its own calibrated band and manometer built in to zero out whatever pressure it feels to convert it to flow. So we'll go ahead and measure this path band with this to see what our number is compared to the flow box. So that red arrow facing up means that it fills an exhaust fan. So it's going to go ahead and start to measure. And it looks like we've landed right on 47, 48. So very close to what we measured with our flow box before. So for a passive tool, that's the flow box here. That's a pretty good comparison to a highly accurate uh, active flow head here. So I mentioned before that this is two tools in one. So if I have the holes plugged on, now it's a pressure pan. So if I have my blower door running to depressurize the house at 50 pascals, I can look at vents like this and try to locate duct leakage uh, to see if that vent's going to be leakier than others. Um, I can also look for other penetrations in a wall, such as the switch box with my blower door running. So, uh, so with this, you get more bang for your buck because it's two tools in one. So again, this is called the RetroTech Flow Box. It's now available for purchase from RetroTech.com. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We're happy to answer. Thanks for watching.